right, parents and grandparents, it is back to school time. Maybe your kiddos are preparing to head back this week. And we know you go to the store, you buy this stuff, but we have Kate Phillibaum here. You always impress us and you kind of take things up a little bit of a notch. So what are we doing today? Well, we have bored kids at the end of the summer mm -hmm. and we're all buying school supplies. Sure. So we put the two together. Okay, so and, we got the basics And here, give right? the kids something to do for their last few days of vacation. So washi tape is a, and you can just pull some off here, it's a very lightweight rice, um, of course I can't find the end, <laughs> but it's a rice paper tape, tears very easily, here we go, and um, you can just tear it with your fingers. Mm -hmm. It sticks to anything, but it's not permanent. Oh, okay, so, perfect. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you can just uh, put things on and then pull it off. Oh, nice. So the plain old little boring ruler looks so much cuter when you put a little washi tape on it. Uh-huh. There you go. This is easy enough. Yeah. And, and you know, I know that a lot of preteens like this stuff, right? It was, it's pretty popular and you can just yes. get it at any store and they have lots of designs. Oh, there, it's, yes, you can get, you know, at the dollar store, you know, five different rolls for a dollar. You can go high end with, um, more holiday related like Halloween, Thanksgiving, oh, okay. Christmas. Day. That was also really easy. I liked that one. Yeah. That was and easy. you can write on it. <laughs> You can write on it, so if you want to label your kids' oh, okay. um, things so they don't get, you know, mixed up. This is kind of fun, too. Just little flags on paper clips to mark their places. Clips instead of just little boring paper clips. And, of course, once you wrap your pens and your pencils. Oh, wow. Then okay. they're just a little more fun. And then uh, this is just a hot glued boa. At, uh, Eric thought that was a koosh ball from Far Away. Remember those things? Yeah. Uh, remember the movie Clu Clueless? Clueless. Oh, yes, I, you were doing 90s this I week. I yeah. had a pink one that we did not do ourselves, and I purchased, and I remember thinking I was so cool. Yes, and look at the fuzz that goes with Every it. teacher's dream, right? <laughs> and this is kind of fun, too. They can personalize their um, notebooks and then write on them. One trick is with these spirals mm -hmm. to undo them. Just pull the cover off oh. and do whatever you want to on the cover and then run the spirals back through. Just poke it back through? Yeah. Okay. It just makes it a lot neater and easier to do. And then for everyone who likes to hang, <laughs> hang things on their refrigerator, uh -huh. these are little tongue depressors oh. with washi tape. I don't know how much the camera can pick it up because they're, they're small. They're so but cute. But they're just little people with washi tape costumes, and then they can color in faces and hair. And I love that. Yeah. And you know, I just really picked cute. this up and realized that this is one of those little locker caddies. Yes, which was just that's plain. Cute. And then you put some washi tape on it and fill it with all your supplies. Nice. And that's kind of fun. I love that. So these are all really easy things that the kids could essentially do. You give them this, and you're like, I don't know. Yes. Do and what you will. The other thing, you know, you. At least with our family, we use dry erase boards a lot. Who's mm -hmm. going where, grocery list, all that. But And when you buy the big ones, they never quite say what you want them to say. Mm. Sometimes you want days of the week. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. you want grocery list. So washi tape works so well to make your own dividers. I love and that. And make up your own. That's a good idea. Like maybe little a little things. morning checklist before school or something. Yes, Great. yes. Chore okay. list, all those things. So those are the easy ones. And then we're going to step it up a notch here. So this one, <laughs> you may uh, need a little adult supervision because... Okay. Uh, uh, you're going to have some residual paint. So basically, this is just a uh, um, chip board, and I'm putting little dabs of acrylic paint. Could be any kind of craft paint. Okay. And then you're going to take the unexpected squeegee. Okay. And this is something you can get at a quick dollar store. Yes. And these would be maybe to clean a shower or a window, yes. right? Yes. Okay. So just hold the paper at the top, mm -hmm. and with a little gentle pressure, and go slow. And you're going to make a wonderful design. It'll be so. Am I, screen, am I screen printing, basically? Yes, kind of you actually that. are. And look how cool it is when you Ooh. get to the end. So then you'll have some residual paint. This is where a little adult help might come. Um, I just fold over the ends like okay. this, so mm -hmm. you're not getting it into your clothes. And it dries very quickly, look at how cool actually. This is. Yeah, and you could even tell when you put the first dots on, some of those wanted to stay. Yes, so, so that sat on there a little bit longer um, since I put that on when you were upstairs. And, you know, so what do you do with this? Well, you know, notebook covers. Oh, that's cute. Uh, pencil holders on Pringle cans. You know, the kids will come up with their own Sure, this would even be the type of thing that they could do. And, you know, then they draw. And this could even go in a frame for the room or something. Well, yeah, that's, yeah fine. that's true. It's just a fun thing. Now, we had a bunch of boys at the gallery last week, mm -hmm. and they actually got into it and then put their handprints on. Oh. And we made a giant mural. 
and it was uh, the theme was working together and reaching out and they made this big mural just um, from their handprints that's so cute and they went through a lot of paper they just you know they sure. had fun I think it's all about the squeegee <laughs> well, it's fun that was very it that was fun I love that so something yeah. really simple stuff that you probably have hanging around the house heck maybe there are even a few teachers watching here these are quick little projects that you could do in the classroom yeah, and they're all gonna look different and you know the since you don't know what the final product's going to mm -hmm. look like, I think that's what makes it so much fun for the kids. And then when they see all these little dots, yes. those could be faces or flowers or all kinds of I things. I love that. We'll My daughters them, would love this. Yeah, it won't take them long to think of what to do with it. Awesome. Well, Kate, thank you so much for the inspiration. Now, if you needed a little something extra for the kids to do, now you have a few ideas. Great. I love it. Thanks right. so much for being here. We appreciate it. Eric, we're going to send it up to you. And no, it is not a koosh ball. <laughs>